So, uh, Sophia, what are you doing Thursday night? Um, well, I mean, I'm just gonna probably just down some Benadryl. There's and nothing knock good. The fuck out, there's never know? anything good to do on Thursday nights. No, especially I mean, this Thursday. There's Thirsty Thursdays down at you know the bingo hall, but I think I'm gonna miss that. Let's just do Thirsty Thursdays. Janice I guess. has been pissing me the fuck oh, off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fucking she's genius. always talking about fucking Avengers Endgame, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going. Welcome to Countdown to Infinity and Avengers Podcast. This is the very, I would say, this is the final hero-centric listener mail episode of this entire season. <gasps> yes. It's, it's the day after tomorrow. Yeah. It's just, the day after tomorrow. And just like the film Day After Tomorrow, a lot of people will die. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Did you like gay, uh, gay after tomorrow? Yes, Jeez. I sure did. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, welcome to Countdown to Infinity. We watch every single Marvel Cinematic Universe yes. movie, starting with Iron Man mm-hmm. a year ago now, 2017. I think even 20, yeah, 2017. That's two years ago. That's, that's two years ago. That's yeah, that's when the first episode <laughs> came out of this show, and it's been building up all the way to this. Mm. Endgame is coming out I don't so even, soon. I don't even know what to physically do with my body or like emotionally how to sustain all of this excitement or dread or heartbreak that I know I'm going to go through. It's just a lot of yeah. mental preparation that I'm just dealing with right now. Well, we're, there's not much. Uh, oh. so, uh, we know you guys are excited for, I, we know all of you. I said mm-hmm. guys, sorry. Uh, we know all of you are excited. Yeah, I'm a woman. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, sir. Um, <laughs> what? We, I just said I'm a woman. Well, okay, so we're, <laughs> thanks. Uh, sorry, earphone listeners. Sorry. Um, uh, so we're, we know you're all excited for Endgame 2. Yes. Um, just a reminder, we will have a episode coming coming out tomorrow, Thursday. Yes. Um, that is a hype episode. No spoilers mm-hmm. in that. Just things to look out for in Endgame mm-hmm. uh, before you go. Yes. Then on Friday, we will have our spoiler-free review Oof. of uh, Avengers Endgame. And then on Monday, we are going to go so far deep into it with John and Andrew and Sophia. John Hello. and Andrew are already reading up on everything. Yes. I mean, I feel like they've already been preparing. They know everything for like, already. Yeah, they've, they've, they've got it. So that's going to be really exciting. It's that episode Monday, that's the big episode filled with spoilers for all yes. of you who have seen it. We'll, we'll talk the after credits scene, yeah, the Stanley the, cameo. We're giving you the weekend to just kind of get an opportunity to watch it. Watch it two or three times. It. Yeah. I but mean, there's going to be so many episode, episodes coming out. We also yes. want to know what you have to say about Avengers Endgame. Of course. A, so many of you are watching it. So many of our listeners live in countries where it's coming out. Right now. Like before us. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I just said like, dang. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of listeners in the UK. You will be all see it before us. We Was have that? listeners in China. You will all see it before <laughs> are us. Are you Yoda? Why did you say <laughs> the sentence like that? <laughs> <laughs> see it, you will. <laughs> um, if you want to let us know what your thoughts are, there's two ways you can do that. You can uh, record yourself. Uh, mm-hmm. Take how many, however many takes you want. In a video, please. Uh, well, sure, <laughs> video or audio, your <laughs> thoughts, and you can send that to info, I N F O, at delphinpod.com. Mm-hmm. If you want to call and leave a message on our answering machine, because mm-hmm. we have one of those really old answering machines, yes. Um, you can call and leave a message, 512 937 3763. 512 937 3763. One more time? 937. Oh, sorry, f- shit. 512. <laughs> 937 D pod and all that will be in the description but um, here's mm-hmm. the only caveat if you're leaving a message and you make a mistake guess what it's too late yeah that's, that's a phone message <laughs> it's a message like a message message so that's already in there so yeah. we asked you guys so this is our listener mail episode for Black Panther. Yes. But we also have a very special thing we're going to talk about on this episode. What is it? Because tomorrow is when some of you guys are going to see Endgame. We're mm-hmm. going to talk about this super big mega poll that we asked our <laughs> listeners to fill out yes. over who they think will live and die. And we're actually going to go back to this during our Endgame episode. Um, but let's get started first with your favorite Black Panther episode. Uh, Sylvia, first of all, is Black Panther in like your top five Marvel um, Cinematic Universe movies, it's really, really good. Okay, well, okay, this is a trick question, honestly. Well, it's a tricky question to answer, I should say. It's not a trick question. Um, also, excuse me, guys, I sound a little rough because I'm getting sick. <laughs> but, um, no, so I I do love Black Panther, I do, but only because of all the construction and behind-the-scenes port of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is so... Oh, I just said, like, a lot. I'm so yeah. sorry, you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm terrible at it. Um, but there is so much that goes be into this movie that you don't even think about. Like, you have to think, oh, my gosh, just like, again. 
Henry. Okay. Uh, so I think you're talking about the things they won the Oscar for. Costume yes. design, production design, <laughs> score. And it all just feels like one really big, complete movie. Honestly, yeah. On our Black Panther episode, we talked about a lot of the themes socially. just yeah. And, and mm-hmm. uh, it, so and uh, during it, by the end of it, we were like, man, this is going to stand the test of time. Yes. And it is one of the best mm-hmm. Marvel Absolutely. Cinematic Universe movies. The representation movies. in it is just amazing. Just overall, I love it so much. And the, the themes of like sins of the father, the sins of origination, where the where where we create our own villains. It's, mm-hmm. it's really, really mm-hmm. good. But we asked you guys what your favorite Black Panther moments are. Someday director said, oof, this is a hard one, but I'm going to have to go for a character over CGI here again. Oh. Black Panther has amazing cinematics. I could talk about it for hours, trust me. Mm-hmm. But she loves the scene between... T'Challa mm-hmm. and Shuri uh, and and Suri Shuri, how do you say that? Suri, Shuri, Shuri, mm-hmm. um, in the lab with the vines, memes, and the whole recording. <laughs> T'Challa's big fail. It gives us a great sibling relationship and adds it good does. humor to the movie. But it also sets up T'Challa as a character, maybe more so than the game did for for Strange. Ooh. T'Challa is the king of the richest, most advanced country in the world. He Mm -hmm. just lost his father. And as you mentioned a lot in the episode, just watch someone almost commit suicide. That's Mm -hmm. in Civil War. Mm -hmm. He has kingship and tragedy thrust upon him. And he's still laughing with his little sister over a prank that humiliated him. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of courage, compassion, and humor. The -hmm. first two are uh, pretty common. The last one really makes T'Challa special. So I love that scene. Yeah. I could see where they're coming from. I mean... I think he was, that's the scene where they're in her lab, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then Yeah, I see, I see where definitely where he's coming from, for sure. Yeah, it's the humanity behind uh, his character and the mm-hmm. fact that he has a family. Yeah. And if you think about it, they all lost their dad. Someone like who the, loved, mm-hmm. they love. Oh, absolutely. Not only their king, but just, I mean, within their family circle, it's their dad. You know, their yeah. dad was their entire, yeah, the heart. Uh, don't, get, don't get him started as a really... Quick and easy one. Okay. He, uh, he says, challenge day and the fight with M'Baku. Yes, that was really, really good. That was insane. Um, I'm going to read one more. Okay. And it's from Aaron. He says, whether it's Clint Barton introducing himself or a handful trying to ruin the endgame experience for others, Black Panther sums it up best. He says, I don't care. I remember that scene. Mm. It was an interesting one. Okay, cool. So <laughs> here's what we're going to do now. We asked you all. What was your favorite scene? Uh, I forgot. I said it on the podcast. What? You forgot your favorite scene? Jeez, what did I... Because there were a couple really big ones, Mm -hmm. but I think I chose the casino scene Mm -hmm. in in Korea. But I don't know. You have to listen back and tell me if that was really what I chose. I think I like that one, but only because my name is referenced to it. I think the Asian lady, her name is Sophia. Hello. (laughs) So we asked... That was me, you guys. So, of course, uh, everyone's thinking about Endgame, Avengers Endgame. That's the thing that we're all talking about because it's coming out tomorrow. We have an episode coming out tomorrow, too. Right. But uh, because this is our listener mail episode, we asked you guys a, a really... To answer a really long poll, and pretty much it is the poll of who li- who you think will mm-hmm. live and who you think will die. I'm going to go yes. down the list because you answered thirty si- for 36 characters. That's how many are in this movie. <laughs> That's a lot. It is a lot of characters. <laughs> and I am so surprised because there are very few people mm. that the majority of our listeners believe will die. It's insane how many you guys hope will survive. Yeah. Which well, is insane. I mean, you can't, you don't want to let go of any of them. You know, we've yeah. had them forever. Um, I think well, a, most of them. There's also, and this is maybe a spoiler, but there. Okay. What? Then, no, don't then I won't say it. Then I won't say it. Then don't say it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Some of you guys I hate have, when people do that. Some of you guys haven't no seen spoilers, it. No spoilers, but I'm like, what? No, just. So stop. I'm going to start at the very top of the list. Iron Man, Tony Stark, 69. <laughs> appropriate. 69 percent wow. of you guys think he will survive. <gasps> really? Oh, survive. Survive. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Captain America. Mm? 35% of you think he will survive. So the majority of you think this is Captain America's last movie. Mm-hmm. Black Widow, 84% of you think she survives. I think it's because she has a sequel or prequel. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But um, you guys are hoping. Thor, insane. This is surprising to me. He's going to die. 100% of you think <gasps> that he's going to survive. Oh, survive. I love yeah. you. Oh, okay. These numbers are all surviving numbers. Um, the Incredible I Hulk, think he's going to. 73% of you think he's going to survive. Hawkeye, 71% of you think he's going to survive. Again, these are really high numbers. Yeah. So far, Captain America is the only person all of our listeners think will will go. Wow. Um, uh, so Hawkeye, 71. That Cap- makes sense, though. Yeah. Cool. Um, Captain Sorry. Marvel, uh, 97% of you think she survives. Whoa. Why did some of you guys say she w- I, That doesn't make sense to me. What? She just got here. Yeah, why did it? Who's the 3%? 
Ant Man, this is sad. Ant Man, eighty one percent of you guys think uh, he will he will survive. That's a lot, but I I will say, how sad would it be if Ant Man did go in this movie? Yeah. Um, Nebula, thirty eight percent of you think mm-hmm. that she will survive. So again, with Captain America, mm-hmm. Nebula, she's on that list for you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think she's going away? Um, which her whole mission was to defeat Thanos. Mm-hmm. So remember that. Um, Okoye, 89% of you think she survives. War Machine, 60%. Pepper Potts, 76 mm. Valkyrie, 90%. Rocket Raccoon, 94%. Wong, 79%. Happy Hogan, 83%. So those are all the people who are living. Mm-hmm. So really, Nebula and um, uh, Cap- Captain America. Those are the only two you guys think. I Okay, never mind. It's a spoiler if I say. Well, yeah. I don't know if that's a spoiler either. I'm going to move on. Uh, um, so the other... <laughs> that's what our entire pod of non-spoilers yeah. is going to sound so like. So here's the whole big thing is these are the people who have been dusted. And mm. we asked you if you think they're going to come back. Here's oh, okay. that list. Doctor Black Strange. Panther. Mm-hmm. 97% of you think he will come back. Really? Interesting. Makes sense. He's got another movie coming out. Yeah. Peter Quill. Star-Lord. 87% of you. Oh, baby boy. So here's the here's a crazy one. Gamora didn't get dusted. Gamora got thrown off a cliff. Yeah. She straight up died. Died. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit rougher for her to come back because it's mm-hmm. not just undoing the snap. It's undoing mm-hmm. a lot of things. Yeah. Gamora, 57% of you think that she will survive, but that's not that high. So a lot no. of you think that that is a permanent death too. Mm-hmm. Um, but makes sense because she's separate from the dusting. Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange, 97% of you mm-hmm. think she, he's going to come back. He also has a sequel in the works. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man, 93%. You saw a trailer of him. Yeah. So maybe. I mean, who knows? <laughs> that's crazy. That's not 100. Scarlet Witch is also interesting. 68% of you think that she is going to come back. Really? Um, that's pretty high. That is pretty. That's surprisingly high. I wasn't expecting her to come back. She's got a show on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if that factored in at all, but yeah, she has a show on Disney Plus. But that can be for something different. Though. Yeah. Vision. Only 46% of you think that he will come back. That makes sense because, I mean... He, he wasn't has... dusted either. He was like murdered. Exactly. I said like, dang it. Um, we... He was like <laughs> murdered. <laughs> Just so you guys know, we're trying not to say like I, I don't so know. Much. Yeah, you hear us stopping all the time. <laughs> Uh, Nick Fury, 97% of you guys. Oh, I said you guys. You uh, guys. You guys. Uh, 97% of you guys uh, think that he's coming back. I just said <laughs> it again. Loki. This is a really interesting one. Loki, no. because he also was not dusted. He was straight yes. up murdered. But people think that it was one of his uh, tricks. Yeah, but uh, no tricks. Know. I don't think so. Uh, 40% of you think that he survives. He also has a show on Disney Plus, but again, doesn't have to be a sequel. Right. Um, Shuri, 93% think that she comes back, which is fantastic for yeah, uh, Black her. Panther too. She's fantastic. Groot, 95%. That makes sense. He has already died. Yeah. Wasp, 89%. Falcon, 86%. Percent Winter Soldier, ninety three percent. I feel that's really 93. high. Ninety three for Winter Soldier. That's yeah. really high. He also has Bucky? a Disney Plus show. <laughs> Mantis at seventy eight percent. Drax at seventy eight percent. Drax is so high to me. I feel like Drax is gonna die. Well, I mean, I th- that's what I feel. Because well, he doesn't have anything to lose. So. Well, yeah, his family's gone, and mm-hmm. Thanos killed them. So right. his purpose is to kill Thanos. Mm-hmm. That's also but one that's of his purposes. Literally everybody's purpose, though. So I mean, that's true. But Drax goes a little further back yeah, than I this. Yeah, it's happening. more personal. And then partially too, uh, Bautista, the actor who plays mm-hmm. Drax. Remember, he wasn't going to come back. Yeah. to do um, Guardians without James Gunn. So mm-hmm. I feel like maybe Marvel and Disney already are like, well, this guy's like, you know. Sorting him out. Mm-hmm. Mm. So crazy. But we're going to save this list. We're going to keep it, and we're going to go gonna back to it, it. Mm-hmm. and compare it to what we're actually accurate. happens. Yeah. And I will tell you, mm. some of this is correct. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I said it, because it's very not a spoiler. Broad. <laughs> um, well, that's it for this very fun episode. Tomorrow, there will be an episode Friday. There's going to be an episode of this yes. podcast for the next three days. Mm. So really exciting. And then, of course, that really big Monday episode where we go <sighs> full deep into all the spoilers. My heart races every time we mention We're it. We're so close. It's crazy. I honestly can't even... I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of things for you guys to do to get ready. What is it? Uh, Tell guard me. Guard your loins. Guard your guard your heart. Okay. Bring some tissues. Got it. That's yeah. it. Oh, for sure. Bring tissues. Don't drink too much water because then you're going to have to pee during the movie. But it's only three hours. Not that long. What? That's a long time. I guess so. If you drink water continuously, yeah. like that's a long time. But I want a souvenir cup. You can get the souvenir cup. Just don't put anything, anything in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to pay five hundred dollars <laughs> to have an empty cup um if you like this pod uh definitely subscribe to it so you can hear that crazy exciting monday episode 
Um, yes. And also review it and rate it. Uh, all the reviews you guys have been writing, we read and we love them. But we it's do. also how people find this podcast. So, yes. Um, I won't say anything by name, but there are other Marvel podcasts. But when you review ours, it helps us also do well. Um, we have another podcast called Countdown to Spring about Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Listen to that. Uh, this is going to be a crazy weekend for that show. And it's just going to be a crazy uh, weekend here at the studio. I'm just ready to be sad, yeah. honestly. <laughs> uh, don't forget to call us uh, at the top and send us your emails. But... Yes, I love hearing these phone calls and the phone messages. They get me super excited. And oh, yeah. I love hearing where everyone's from, what their story is. And I, just, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I love you. She listens to your, your... I really do. I'm the person that goes through everything, and I get excited and choose which ones get to come up. Well, we'll see you oh, tomorrow. There's an episode tomorrow. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, also, have fun at Endgame. Just yes. sit there and appreciate uh, it. You're... Also, don't post anything on social media, yeah, you don't, guys. Don't come spoil on, don't it. spoil Endgame. Because, yeah, don't spoil it, but sit there. You'll mm-hmm. really like it. Take I, everything in. The movie wraps up every single oh, I'm thinking yeah every single loose end from all 22 movies think about that and that crazy sentence okay bye bye <laughs> <laughs>